so the old iteration move we've had it in a software forever we also added uh, some user dll's and one of them was the bracketing secant we still have it under dll but we're transitioning a lot of our dll's we want to transition to regular uh, dialog boxes to have their own and this is one of them now if you recall the iteration move had a mode but never had a method so what we did for this release we called the old iteration move the one that we had forever uh, we called it bisection and we did improve that one because we made it uh, faster we improved its convergence speed um, the picture here shows you kind of what we did but basically we reduced the number of steps by half by calc by improving the calculation and uh, one note here if your measure that you use in iteration and you try to achieve the condition in that measure if it's a true distance then you want to use the bisection for it now sometimes bisection is not as fast as you want so we added another option this one like i said this was under a user dll and we brought it in here the bracketing secant or regular fallacy it uses a different calculation than bisection because it's it's looking not only at x axis basically it's looking at the deviations on the points in the in the y direction as well so it it stores more information to be used when it does the next steps. Now, most of the time, these two uh, options will be just as fast. But it happens that uh, in, in certain cases, for example, if you look at the picture down here, you probably remember this model, but basically we wanna close the top part onto the two pins, which vary independent in height from each other. So, sometimes it's going to touch on one pin sometimes it's going to touch another what we want to do is tell it try and touch equally on both pins you know try to try to minimize the variation in up and down on the lid and that uh, i just put in two iterations in the model which i'm going to show you in a second but the result of that because this is a little bit more convoluted calculation it shows that the bracketing secant is faster than the bisection. It's also a case where it doesn't solve all the time. I, um, I opened up the torrences um, for, for the spec for the measurement that it's in the condition in these two operations, which I'm gonna show you. And if it can solve, then both of these are fast, very fast. So to, to resume, uh, you can use bisection, you can use bracketing secant. They will both converge. They will both give you results for your iteration move. Um, you could run a small number of samples, 50, 100, and see if uh, the bracketing secant is faster than use it. That's the whole idea. So I'm gonna show you a little bit in how, how this is set up and why did I get such a difference in the time that it needed to run 5,000 samples. So we set up these parts and let's say we put the pins onto the blue part and we bring down the lid on the hinges. And then from there on, I've used iteration moves. And I used two as bisection, uh, and then another set will be bracketing secant. You can swap them, but let me show you a little bit what's in the move. Just so you understand that it's not a straightforward case of using iterations. So I'm saying rotate the lid. So the point four here will rotate 89 degrees, and Whenever you use iteration, you, you adjust the initial step and you adjust the 
iteration numbers. So I, I said in the first iteration, check that the pin uh, at the pin one condition is within spec and and these are the two measures pin one pin two so I'm checking that and I'm also saying execute the move that's a after it which looks at the pin two so basically I'm trying to adjust both of these pins to be within the spec of these two measures and in this case it's useful to actually use the bracketing secant. So what I do is just use the pull down, pick this other option, and that's it. This is the only difference in the user interface as far as using iteration. And you use it based on um, how fast it can work for you. There is no way for us to know how the calculation, uh, the curve, is, is going to be basically is it going to be a linear uh, a linear variation to to converge or is it going to be a slight curve so there's no way to know this in advance that's why we give you two options to play with uh,